It's time for another edition of Coach's Corner with women's basketball coach Matilda Mossman. Hello again, everybody, and we welcome you to Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Mossman, TU Women's Basketball. And we are here at Cafe Mossman in the TU Women's Locker Room. And coach, uh, great to get, in the, get to that midweek game and get a victory and, and get off the losing streak. It was a nice win over East Carolina, wasn't it? Yeah, we didn't have a lot of turnaround time. You know, we were in Connecticut on Sunday. We don't get back till about midnight, and typically the Monday after a game is – is film weights and uh, you know let everybody recover a little bit, but we we didn't have that opportunity because we had to get uh, get going on East Carolina. So uh, to have us come back against a team after after two days, and then uh, the team is pressing us the entire game, uh, full court, 40 minutes. It's just a it, you know we really worried about how our guys would react to that, but they did well. I mean we we still had a you know, a whole bunch of turnovers and a whole bunch of uh, missed uh, rebounds, but our guys were resilient uh, throughout and, and just played hard, kept their cool, and we were able to come out with a win. And you knew that ECU would be very mm -hmm. physical. Uh, they play hard, they, and as you mentioned, they press. So you really had to match their physicality, didn't you? We, we did, and um, just they're just tough, tough kids. And you couldn't tell that that's a team that has had 10 or 11 losses in a row because of the, how hard they played. And I think they just have the attitude of this next one could be the one. Next one could we be the one. But our kids thinking this, this has to be the one for us. And you trailed going into the fourth quarter. Had a really good finish, really good fourth yeah. quarter to win the game. I think it was 19 to 15. Yeah, and uh, again, it was just you know handling their pressure and you get concerned. Uh, even though you've handled it, handled it, handled it, you just wonder at what point do you just get mentally worn down. And fortunately, you know, again, we had a lot of turnovers, but uh, from, for the most part, and even off the offensive rebounds they got, they didn't score a great deal of points off our turnovers and off the offensive rebounds they got. And you shot the wall, wall pretty well, about 44%, especially in the second half you shot pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we had the one quarter where we didn't shoot it very well, as is typical, but um, I thought we were patient, uh, especially against the pressure. And then you only have like 15 seconds to run an offense. But, you know, they're going back uh, into a zone a lot. And we just did a great job of reading the inside outside and, and moving the ball side to side and, and got some good looks out of it. Kayla Mutri was outstanding for you. Career <laughs> high for her, 19 points. What was she doing well and what's the growth you've seen in her? Well, she came in in the second quarter and gave us a bit of a lift. And so at halftime, it was like, okay, we've got to look for spots to get her back in the game again. And she played some in the third quarter, and she was just consistent. But then in the fourth quarter, she really made some things happen, hit some big shots, uh, forced some turnovers, got some key rebounds, um, just really gave us the lift we needed in the, at the end of the game. And Rebecca Lasky had 15 for you, so she provided a little bit of punch. She did. It, it, a lot of it was just her off the dribble, attacking the basket, uh, and then finishing shots. We're so used to seeing Kendra and Elliott have a double-double. She only had nine, only had nine, but she had 14 rebounds. So, I mean, yeah. she really did a nice job inside. She you. did. Again. Yeah, we, and we've got to get more and more touches. You know, you look at she only got nine points, but she she shot a great percentage, both from three and from 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 two. But we just we just have to give her more opportunities to get shots. And what's that feeling like to, to <clears throat> finally, you know, get off the dime a little bit and, and get a victory at home in front of your home crowd? Yeah, I think it was as much a relief as it was anything because, you know, we've been battling to hold people together because of the close losses. And, and it's about, you know, we're doing so many things right. It's just a turnover here, a missed shot there. Those are the differences in a lot of our games. So it was, it was just about, you know, just, just keep doing what we're doing, believe in the process and trust each other. And, um, you know, we, we, we did that in that game. Now you go on the road, you go to Dallas, take on SMU, usually a very competitive game. But, again, a, a poor start really doomed you in that game, didn't it? Yeah, really disappointed, especially uh, coming off of a win. Uh, you would think our uh, engagement would, be, would have been better, our uh, intensity would have been better. But uh, we just were really stagnant from the jump and uh, didn't get into a rhythm and got down by as much as 12 in the first quarter. And uh, then Lex uh, rolls her ankle late in the first quarter, about what, 25 seconds left. And so now you've got people in new positions and, and uh, you know, they're, they're, they've got some, a lot of length on their team. And uh, they, they, they shot, shot it really, really well in the first half. And, and they had been a lot like us. They hadn't shot it very well uh, on the season, but shot it really well in the first half. And 
Uh, but then our guys battled back. I mean, we won the second half. And, mm -hmm. you know, they only played 10 players, and a couple of them, you know, played minor minutes. But uh, our guys just hung tough, and we kept battling. And, you know, what was a 22-point deficit, we cut it to 15, 17, something like that. So just proud of the way we our effort stayed with us. And with Alexis Galden going mm -hmm. out, she only played nine minutes of the game. K.K. Rodriguez, Morgan Brady play a few more minutes. Now they each got 10 points, so that was right. a positive. But it does mess up all of your rotations, doesn't it, when you have a frontline player go out early? It, it did. I mean, we only had 13 points at halftime. And so most of Morgan and most of KK's points were in the second half. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of disappointing that we put a team on the floor that only scored 38 points. But we got so out of sync early on and just it took us so long to get, to get back in sync and get back into rhythm and, and taking the kind of shots that we could be successful at. So the Hurricane getting the win in the midweek, losing at SMU over the weekend, one and six, but we're just approaching only the halfway point of the American Athletic Conference season. A lot of games yet to come, and we'll talk about what's to come coming up next on Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Moss. American. Be undeniable. We're back on Coach's Corner, and uh, Coach, on Wednesday you play host to Tulane, a team that beat you in overtime in New Orleans. Usually great games between you two, so 7 o'clock on Wednesday, be there at the Reynolds Center. Uh, I would expect nothing less than just another hard-fought game, huh? Yeah, I mean, we, we really need uh, that energy in the arena. Uh, when we played at their place uh, early January, we got off to a great start, uh, built up an eight, 10 point lead. And uh, then uh, their, their uh, four player, uh, uh, Freeman, and then one of their guards, Urs Ursula Clark, they just started dominating us in the second half. And we couldn't stop Clark from getting to the basket. She got herself to the free throw line, but we, we were able to send the game into overtime. And then there's a scrum at the very end of the game. There's like, I don't know, 12 seconds left, mm -hmm. and they miss a shot. Um, we don't get a great block out, so the ball comes over our head. They get it. Uh, there's a scrum on the floor. We got people diving after it, and, and just somebody grabs it and throws it up to Freeman at about the right inside the free throw line, and she shoots it, and while the ball's in the air, the horn goes off, yeah. and the ball literally sits on the rim. For, it felt like an eternity. It's probably half a second but it just sat on the rim and it rolled in. So yeah. that, that was our, our loss on the road in overtime. Uh, so I feel like uh, our guys feel like that's a game that we could have won, uh, that we let get away from us. And so I, I think and I hope that we'll be uh, eager to take the floor on Wednesday. Absolutely, seven o'clock at the Reynolds Center. <laughs> then over the weekend, uh, three o'clock on Saturday, you play at Memphis. And Memphis is a team that's won double digit games at this point, but they're struggling a little bit. They're one and five in the league. Right, they, they've, uh, uh, they've struggled to score just like we do, what we have, but they've got a really good inside outside punch. And uh, you know, they've got uh, guys that can score for them. and. Um, uh, it's our only time to play them this year, so it's important that uh, we try to steal one on the road. Yeah, and that would be a tiebreaker game if there's a tie at the end of the season. So this is, it is important when you play them only once, right? Right, it makes it makes it doubly important. All right, let's get that thing Wednesday, and then we'll talk about the weekend with Memphis. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you. The head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Matilda Mossman. We'll talk to you next week on Coach's Corner.